The old water wheel is the precursor to modern Pelton turbines. Wood water wheels have been used to extract power from flowing water and convert it into mechanical power since the 3rd century. Often, water wheels provided power for water mills, which used millstones for grinding wheat to produce flour. The rotational movement of the water wheel spun the runner stone of the mill by means of a gear unit. The opening in the middle of the runner stone is called eye, where the grains were filled in two. As the runner stone turned, the grains were being cut and crushed by the stones that turned the grains into flour. The water wheel has long been replaced by the Pelton turbine for several reasons. Because of their clever design, Pelton wheels are far more efficient than water wheels of the past. The rotational movement of the turbine is usually transmitted to a generator, converting kinetic energy into electrical energy. A series of spoon-shaped buckets is mounted around the edge of the Pelton wheel. Buckets are usually cast as one solid piece, which is necessary to avoid damage such as fatigue failure. The buckets have splitters placed at the middle of them that divide the water jets into two equal streams. The divider splits the flow of water striking it and changes the direction of the water by almost 180 degrees. This allows the wheel to capture almost 100% of the water's energy. The water jet can reach speeds of up to 370 miles per hour, resulting in a very high rotational speed of the wheel. Pelton wheels can be operated with almost 3000 rotations per minute. Pelton turbines can be installed horizontally as well as vertically. When mounted vertically, several nozzles can be employed, resulting in high turbine speeds.